Well, hi-ho, folks, and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle, the Gnome Mage. Well, hi, Turwinkle. Greetings. Are you all set for tonight, sir? Indubitably. Well, great, because tonight we are going to go talk to the Dysfunctional Veterans Guild. That's right, the DV Guild here on Scenarian Circle that is put together by and for veterans of the armed services. A guild that allows them to come and enjoy the game that we all love, World of Warcraft. And so with that, let us go and talk to the DV Guild here on Scenarian Circle. Alrighty, folks. Well, we made it to the Scenarian Circle, and we made it to the DV Garrison here. And it's a wonderful garrison. I mean, the Alliance garrisons are so much nicer than the Horde, I must say. And so, with that, right over here, at the front here, we have Disco. DV6 of the Dysfunctional Veterans. He's Professor Disco. He's a level 100 gnome priest. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. Well, thank you so much for the invitation to come and talk with you folks. I can't wait to learn all about the DV Guild. Well, we're happy to have you here. We definitely appreciate your time and you stopping by. All right, well, I guess you have a whole bunch of folks out in the hallway, so let's meet who you've brought with you tonight. Yes, indeed. We have already quite a few uh, veterans who have joined our guild, uh, the first of which is Eldenon, if I'm pronouncing the name right. I certainly hope so. A, uh, as all of our members are, recent addition, excellent person, excellent player, very, very talented mage. If only he ran a gnome. Uh, precisely, sir. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Eldenon. Oh, there you go, sir. <laughs> and nice to meet you. Mages and their tricks. Go ahead and have a seat, please. Another veteran that we've picked up recently is an individual by the name of Wesley goes by Deadly Kitty. He's new to the server, new to our community, all around excellent, excellent person. Still a little bit uh, hazy on role play, but he's learning fast and he's an excellent individual. And we're more than happy to have him along. It's a pleasure anytime we find a veteran who'll join us. Oh, excellent. Yeah, you know, uh, all of us role players had to start somewhere, sir, and it's great to hear that he's given it a shot. And so, welcome, welcome. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah, feel free to have a seat. Just stay away from the rug. We just had it cleaned. I don't need that thing lighting on fire again. <laughs> hey, and next. Uh, Lati is a veteran person on the server. Not a veteran herself, but a veteran role player. An excellent addition to the guild. Brings a lot of... I, I can't honestly say she brings a lot of maturity, but she brings a lot of spirit. She brings a lot of excitement. She's very creative and an outstandingly reliable person all around. Again... An excellent, excellent member of the guild. All right, wonderful, and I love that belt. Why, thank you. All righty, and next? And next we have our two role play officers. Uh, Fortis, better known to the server as Thel, is one of the most seasoned role players that I know. Ab he is the voice of common sense around here. He constantly shuts me up when I go too far or start getting ahead of myself. He is definitely, definitely the calming influence keeping us all in, all in check. Oh, well, awesome. Thank you, sir.
And next. And finally, our other role play officer. If Thel is our voice of reason, then Ket is our voice of insanity, which we very highly cherish and enjoy. She's got more ideas than I think any single guild could ever hope to exploit. Her, she is one of the most creative and just outstanding individuals I have ever had the pleasure of meeting. Okay, and doesn't like to be filmed. Um, <laughs> all right, awesome. And it is wonderful to see everybody. And as you can see, we are all seated at this wonderful table here in the DV Garrison. And so with that, folks, we are going to come back and we are going to find out all about this awesome guild here on Scenarian Circle, the Dysfunctional Veterans Guild. And so stay tuned. We'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks, and we are back, and we're seated at this wonderful table again here in the garrison in Scenarian Circle with the DV Guild. And so, sir, first and foremost, how did you come up with the concept and the name for the guild? Well, dysfunctional veterans is a common, common uh, phrase amongst those who have served and those of us who don't quite get along as well with society. A problem that a lot of veterans have, including myself, is we don't mesh very well with what we refer to as the normal civilian population. We tend to stick within our circles. We tend to bond to each other when we meet. It does. The military does draw people together as a common base of experience and I've met a lot of gamers playing WoW. A couple of them have been extremely influential in my life. One of them is actually, I, I credit him with a lot, including my stoking my desire and prodding me to seek help for my personal issues. Another one simply brought, you know, was a friend. So based on my personal experience and knowing that there are a lot of veteran gamers out there and also knowing that a lot of them don't fit in very well with normal guilds I decided along with the motivation that some others gave me a few of them in this room but in particular to make this guild specifically for veterans someplace that they can you know, we can all be who we want, we can play the game and enjoy content together, or just sit around and, you know, be social. It It's kind of a six in one hand, half dozen of the other. There's no specific unifying reason. There's a lot of things piled on top of each other that motivated me to run this guild. Well, awesome. So, what kind of guild is it? Is it a PvP guild, a roleplay guild? light, medium, heavy? Is it, uh, you know, PVE? What kind of guild is it? Well, as I try to define it, um, I try to define it as what I call a full-spectrum guild. Now, that sounds quite odd to most people, but to veterans, they'll, they understand that term right off the bat. We do a little bit of everything. We have some moderate role play going. Not everyone in DV is a role player. Not everyone in DV will be. It's something that's there. Role play wise, we try and basically antagonize the rest of the server. A lot of the guilds on Scenarian Circle and Sisters of Elune group are aligned lawful good, law, you know, lawful neutral. There's really there's no one for them to fight against. There's no real catalyst to start role play. So DV's filling that get end of the spectrum. On the other side, we do have a couple of raid groups we're working on filling and getting going. We do have the intention eventually of pushing mythic content while it's current. That is you know, across the board, we look to do everything and anything. As far as veterans, we do tend to be type A personalities. We are not the sit around and stare at ourselves in the garrison type people. 
we want to go out and do something. And that's exactly what this guild is intended to fulfill. Well, excellent. So a little bit of something for everyone to come and enjoy. Is that correct? Exactly. We don't want anyone to have to choose between, well, I want to do some role play, or well, I, want, I want to raid, or well, I want to PvP. We want to incorporate all of that so that that doesn't we don't exclude PvPers or raiders or those who just want to bring in their own group of friends to run challenge modes. We take anyone and everyone and we'll support any type of content that our members choose to partake in. Well, excellent. And so folks, when we come back, we're going to find out how you can come and enjoy this wonderful guild, the DV Guild, here on Scenarian Circle. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so, Disco, I am a new player here on Scenarian Circle. I've seen the interview, and I want to be a part of the DV Guild. So first and foremost, who do I talk to? Easiest way, check out in the uh, slash who, or in your user menu, and just see if anybody from DV is online. All of our members have the ability to invite to our uh, lowest rank from there talk to one of the officers generally one of us will sit down talk with a newcomer one of our biggest concerns is trolls as is with many guilds we simply don't want to deal with them and as far as veterans go someone claiming to be a veteran we've all seen the stolen valor videos it's one if you get one of one veteran talking to another we we can tell each other out real fast so i would not recommend trying that if it's just a player who wants to come and hang out it's it's a pretty abbreviated conversation just making sure that you're an actual human being and not one of the troll bots that goes around trying to pilfer stuff out of banks but we do have our website which is more formal for our raiders pvpers they go through there and that's how they are automatically registered the interview or the uh, correction the application on our website is quite simple it simply asks a little bit about the player a little bit about what they want out of the game and what they want out of the guild a couple of drop down boxes if they prefer PVE PVP and as also our website has links to the guild Facebook Twitter we try to be as social and get our name out there to as many as possible we try and be as open and inviting to as many as possible all right and what is the address of your your website that's pretty easy to remember our website is based off of the server web page our personal page is the letters dv dash cc soe dot org or dot com Either way, it'll route you to the same website. Oh, excellent. Now, do I have to be a veteran to join the guild? Absolutely not. We do cater to veterans. We make the environment suitable for veterans to do what they want. But we are inclusive of anyone who wants to hang out and be with a more mature, if you could actually call it mature, um, a more adult themed and personality group of individuals we specifically make it that way so that friends and family of military and veterans are not in any way shape or form excluded from the guild we try to be inclusive of them particularly okay and yes deadly kitty what, what what's going on i dropped my keyboard <laughs> okay <laughs> All right. Excellent. Um, <laughs> what the hell are you doing that you dropped your keyboard? I don't use a desk. That implies you were you were juggling it. I I don't use a desk. I don't I use a grab a piece of pizza and I drop my keyboard. Okay. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Just make sure you're not dipping your keyboard in the ranch. Go, go f pizza ranch keyboard type. Remember the separation. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty, sir. So, is there an AIDS... <laughs> Alrighty, sir. So, 
is there an age restriction to joining the guild? Absolutely. We are an 18 plus guild without any exception. Most of the time, you know, obviously I'm not going to ask people to fax me a photo ID or anything ridiculous. We can tell. And if there is a question, I will investigate it personally. I'll ask somebody to verify their age, either through email, through a Facebook image of some sort, showing that they are an adult. Okay. Our conversations generally are not children appropriate and absolutely not. I'm not going to take any risks with the FBI showing up at my door wondering why I'm trying to corrupt children and interrogating me in the back of a bread truck for four hours. No thanks. <laughs> okay. uh, we'll just keep the guild 18 plus and keep that out of the picture. All right, excellent. Is there any class or race restrictions? No, absolutely not. We're welcoming of all calibers of players, whether it's someone whether someone simply wants to make an alt on the server just to hang out with us socially, or if they want to transfer over mains for rating. There's no restriction, race, you know, performance, no, none whatsoever. Okay. Now, as far as you, you, you even allow war, warlocks in, in the guild, sir? I am particularly looking for a couple of warlocks right now. They're excellent DPS and excellent functionally. Okay. Well, there you go, Warlocks. Uh, a wonderful guild for you to enjoy. Now, is there a level requirement uh, to getting into the guild? Oh, no. Not at all. We do prefer level 10 plus. If it's somebody coming from off-server, it's understandable. We don't put any, any specific policies in place excluding you know, new characters because a lot of us are altaholics. We enjoy making low-level characters and you know, if they go vacant in the guild for six months, they'll probably be removed if they're underneath level 20. But as far as joining the guild itself, none whatsoever. We encourage people to make an alt on our server, come and try out, spend some time with our community, and most likely they'll be hooked and they'll come with us uh, for permanent. Oh, excellent. Well, excellent. So there you go, folks. All the requirements for getting into the guild. And Turwinkle's made it in, and so we're going to find out next what are the guild rules he has to follow now that he's part of the DV Guild. So we'll be right back with that. Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so, Disco, we are going to talk about guild rules. What are the in-game guild rules the guild must follow being part of the DV? Well, the rules for the guild are very simple. It, and I, you know, I wrote them out preparing for this. There's only three: respect, honor, and community. Simple respect. You can, you know, everybody's here to do their own thing. We all pay our subscription fees. We all have th different things we want out of the game. Not everyone is a role player. Not everyone is a hardcore progression raider. There's a lot of people that I've seen, and I've talked to a few of them that think that role play is silly, which to them, it very well may be. There's a lot of role players who think that hardcore raiders and the things that we do are r pretty ridiculous. That may also be true from a certain point of view. Everybody joins this guild with the understanding that it is a full spectrum guild. You will tr treat each other with respect. Yeah, we talk smack to each other quite often and we pester each other constantly that's part of the decor and part of the environment but if stuff crosses the line an officer will intervene and things will be shut down very quickly honor it follows closely with respect it has more to do with pvp but it just respecting the good name of the guild don't you know any disrespect for role players any griefing of events camping corpses no ain't gonna happen not on my watch, not in my guild. You can go ahead, you know, killing horde, if they're flagged, good to go. It's an, R it's an RP server. If they're flagged in a wrong zone, that's on them. Camping the corpse, uh-uh. Griefing events, uh-uh. Not going to happen. We're part of a community. We bring people in not just as a member of our guild. 
we are recruiting specifically for and bringing people into this community. The Sonarian Circle Sisters of Loon server group is the reason this guild exists here. I have been around the game a lot. I have been to at least two dozen servers in my time playing. I have never once found anything close to the sense of community, the sense of belonging that this server group has. It's more than just a guild on a server. It's a guild that's a part of a community. And that's something that every member absolutely has to understand and must respect. All right, that is awesome. And I really like that because, you know, a lot of times you'll run into situations where people are acting out and you really don't want that in your guild. And I think you've got a great set of rules there that anybody can follow. That's exactly what we're aiming for. We try to, you know, an old army acronym is KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. We keep it simple, don't be stupid. Right. Well, excellent. So, folks, when we come back, we're going to find out where Turnwinkle is put in as a new member as far as ranks are concerned and how he can get promoted within those ranks and what those ranks are. So we'll be talking about ranks next here with the DV Guild. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we are back and we are talking about ranks. And so, sir, Turnwinkle's new to the guild, so where is he placed as far as ranks are concerned? As far as ranks are concerned, upon invitation, you automatically drop within the lowest rank in a guild, which for us is inactive. You don't stay there very long. You're immediately promoted up to member, which very just our general purpose rank. Family, friends, casual players, anyone who just wants to hang out, that's generally where they reside. The next three ranks are divided up simply based on preference as far as in-game content. Raiders are, of course, are members who have an inclination more towards environmental PvE type activities, raiding, challenge mode dungeons, etc, etc. Our enforcers are the PvP members of the guild, the guys who are looking at raided battlegrounds, arenas, etc. Our third rank is our role play rank, which is subject to change currently, uh, i not really certain exactly what we're going to do with the name of that rank. For currently, it's Merc, just something simple, easy. Above all those three ranks, those three are all equal as far as placement in the guild, is Veteran rank. Any U.S. foreign military veteran service members, that is their place. They stand above any, any but the guild officers, and rightly so. Those who have sworn an oath deserve a little bit of recognition here and there, so that rank is specifically devoted to them. Above that is our officer ranks, our cap captains, is a leadership position. Guild officers, alts, and some individuals who exemplify themselves within the guild, those who really stand above and beyond as far as helping out with activities, functions, doing things for the guild and its members. Our commander rank is the senior guild officers, our raided battleground and role play leaders. And of course, myself and my slew of alts take up the DV6 rank. Okay, and in order to achieve that rank, you have to uh, defeat you in a one-on-one -on -one battle. Is that correct, sir? Yes, that is correct, but you have to track me down in real life. <laughs> you can choose between swords, pistols, or shotguns. Ten paces, standard dual procedure. Okay, excellent. Oh, I, I, I just received a guild note. Cannons are also allowed, but those are a 50-yard instead of 20-yard. Okay. <laughs> and I hear uh, we have a new promotion within the guild. Is that correct? Uh, somebody's just been promoted to commander of roleplay? Yes. Our creative and common sense roleplay officers have both been recently promoted to commander. Well, wonderful. It sounds like you have some great ranks there. 
And so, folks, when we come back, we're going to talk about guild events and what type of events the DV participate in. So we'll be right back with that. All right, folks, and we are back, and we are talking about guild events. And so, sir, what kind of guild events does the DV Guild participate in? Well, there's pretty much everything and anything, either in the works or in the near future for us. Right now, we're trying to structure out two separate progression groups, both uh, one in the AM, one in the PM. We understand full well that some people, depending on shift work, depending on their schedule, afternoon and evening are often occupied by real life. So our morning time group is going to be running from 6 to 9 uh, Pacific Standard Time, 9 to 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Our p.m. group is going to be running on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7 o'clock Pacific Time to 10 o'clock Pacific Time. Now, as far as PvP, we're still working on that. Once we have people that are real interested and looking to take charge of that, then we're going to let them structure out the times. Our officers are responsible for their own groups, responsible for their own manpower. And that said, Kediru Ket, which I can't pronounce her name for anything for the life of me, is our role play officer in charge of scheduling. So I'm going to pass the mic off to her, and she can list off the events for the guild on that side of the house. Alrighty, so take it away, Kat. Okay, um, Wednesday nights we do a keg night, which is sort of where guild members just get together, have a drink, and just enjoy each other's company for a while, and that's at 5 p.m. in the evening uh, Pacific time. Then on Thursdays we have our office hours beginning at the same time the PM raid begins, and I, I set this up for the people who uh, don't raid and other role players can come to us and they can take out different conscripts and odd jobs for us to do since we are antagonists you know they could hire us for a hit or to move shady shady dealings and then friday we have our brawl nights down in the brawl pub and we have a fair bit of debauchery going on there too <laughs> um as far as you know gambling and staging fights i guess you could say all in all good fun and that starts at yeah and that's that's at uh, 6 p.m. well wonderful it sounds like there's a lot of stuff that anybody can come and enjoy with the guild so that is great there's nothing better than being in a guild that's active because why be in a guild if all you're doing as was mentioned earlier just sitting around staring at one another in the garrison so an active guild is a lot more fun to be a part of than one that isn't so excellent I love to hear a lot of stuff going on so wonderful so next folks we're going to talk about we're actually going to get to my favorite part of the interview and that is the individual interview where we talk to each one of these folks to find out what they enjoy about being in the DV Guild here on Scenario Circles so we'll be right back with that Alrighty, folks. Well, here we are at the individual portion of the interview. And again, one of my favorite parts of the interview, because you get to see kind of on the inside of what a guild is all about and what the players feel about the guild they're in. And so first up, we have Deadly Kitty. He's a veteran of the Dysfunctional Veterans. He is the Horde Breaker, a level 12 Night Elf Druid, sir. You've just started this character. Is that correct? Uh, that is. I actually saw a post on Facebook about the the guild and uh, they said it was mostly veterans so I I thought I needed to to join all right excellent and so what do you enjoy about being in this guild uh, I enjoy the like the sense of belonging and the fellowship uh, that comes with being around a bunch of other veterans and it, it just makes it easier to get by uh, being able to talk with people that have gone through the same sort of things Oh, wonderful yeah it's always nice to be in a guild where you have a lot in common with the people that are in the guild with you so that is an awesome awesome answer sir thank you very much thank you all righty folks up next is Katiru commander of the dysfunctional veterans 
She is the Astral Walker. She's a level 100 Drawn Eye Shaman. And so, ma'am, what do you enjoy about being in the DV Guild? Mostly I enjoy that these are people like me. Even though I'm not a veteran, I share a lot of things in common with a lot of the members. And Bruden was one of actually the first people I met when I moved to CC back in 2013. And so it's really nice being in a guild with someone I know and someone I trust. Oh, excellent. And don't let the, the panda behind us. <laughs> Yeah, don't let him bother you, ma'am. But uh, that is an excellent, excellent answer. Thank you very much. All righty, folks. Up next is Eldenon. He's a veteran of the Dysfunctional Veterans. He is a level 100 human mage. What specs, sir? Uh, I'm running Arcane right now. Oh, okay. And why have you chosen Arcane? Uh, from what I've seen right now, it's uh, the top DPS when it comes to uh, rating. Oh, okay. Excellent. And so, sir, what do you enjoy about being in the DV Guild? The short answer would be it's, it's family. These are the type of people I've served with and all. And uh, when you get out of the service, uh, a lot of the people I've met and other veterans and all, it's kind of what you miss is the like-minded people and all your, your brothers in arms, basically. And all, they're a great group of guys. I mean, all in all, I couldn't ask for a better guild to be with. I've uh, ran in several other guilds before and so other servers some of them uh, you've actually interviewed and they just they don't compare this is you know this is where i want to be it's a blast oh well, that is an excellent answer sir thank you very much all righty folks up next is laddie merc of the dysfunctional veterans sergeant laddie she's a level 100 night elf hunter and so ma'am first and foremost again i do love that belt where did you get the belt Honestly, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's from my rating days. Okay, it's wonderful. I, I haven't seen that one before, so I really like that. Um, so, ma'am, what do you enjoy about being in the DV Guild? Uh, one of the things that I really do love about the fact to borrow from one of my guildmates is the fact that it is very much a family-style guild. One of the things that I have actually found within this community, some of the best people that I can legitimately say, you know, Phil, Disco, them, having been a part of the server since almost day one, and they are fantastic. They have been there, you know, in-game, out-of-game. Some of the harder points of my life, I've always had them there backing me up and going, hey, you can do this. And legitimately, it is something like that that you do need because of the fact that life is hard. When you come here to relax and you get a part of community, you do need the people who lift you up whatever way they can. And then honestly, it's probably the best thing I can always sit there and say to them. It's a family. It is about making sure we are all together going forward. All right. That is an excellent, excellent answer, ma'am. Thank you very much. All right, folks. Up next is Fortis. He's a commander of the Dysfunctional Veterans. He's a blood champion as well, and he is a level 100 Night Elf Druid. And so, sir, what do you enjoy about being in the DV Guild? I've known Disco for a long time. When I heard he was making this guild, we uh, talked a little bit, and it turned out his goals aligned almost perfectly with my own as far as what we want to do in the game. And I decided I wanted to be a part of this. All right, that is an excellent answer, sir. Thank you very much. Also, we're both insane. <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> All right, folks, up next is Sirani, Raider of the Dysfunctional Veterans Guild. He's a level 100 drawn eye monk. And Sirani, you have brought up mittens with you. Uh, how does mittens fall into uh, your character? Uh, I really haven't figured out... Um what I'm going to be doing with uh, Sarani as far as an RP perspective. I just think Mittens kind of goes along with her, so I'm going to kind of figure it out as I go along. Okay, excellent, and I can't wait to hear the story behind the adventures of Sarani and Mittens. That should be very interesting. Now, sir, what do you enjoy about being in the DV Guild? Um, I've been friends with uh, Discosis or Bruden for a long time in-game, and uh, for me, uh, it's just Everybody's got a great sense of humor, and there's a, a real good sense of camaraderie amongst the guild, so it makes it um, a lot of fun to be in. Right. You know, that's. I've got to say, I have had a blast here tonight, and folks, behind the scenes, these guys are just a ton of fun. So <laughs> that's very well said, sir. So wonderful, wonderful answer. 
Thank you very much. They're a ton of fun or they're merciless, depending <laughs> on how you want to look at it. Exactly. <laughs> All right, folks. Up last, but certainly not least, is the guild leader himself, Disco. He is DV6 of the Dysfunctional Veterans, a level 100 known priest. And so, sir, what do you enjoy about leading this guild? Well, that's a simple and a complex answer all in itself. It's a pleasure to be around and be a part of bringing this group of individuals together for a common purpose. And the military, we're taught, at least within the Army, we're taught that leadership is defined by providing three things. And that's purpose, direction, motivation. Purpose, that's very simple. To provide a place for veterans to get together, for us to game together, for us to banter back and forth, and also have each other to lean on during the harder times. Because they do come. There are a lot of us who have some extreme difficulties in making real life friends. Social situations are pretty much a no-go for some of us. And we try to make up for that in a lot of ways by making friends within a, sm a smaller community like Scenarian Circle or with, particularly within a guild such as DV we try to f we naturally try to find that happy medium where we have people surrounding us who understand our situation who understand and share a lot of our life experiences it's very difficult to find that the direction and motivation really come from the members. I don't run this guild. I don't. The members and the officers are the ones who drive this guild and make it what it is. I'm just here to play referee once in a while. You've heard some of our crazier conversations. And for the most part, just keeping the peace when people don't get along and trying to keep everything organized and running smoothly. That's all I do. The individuals like Cat Thel, they're the ones who are driving roleplay. Individuals such as Zeflin Eld, those are our raiders. They're the ones who are going to be taking up the guild banner and running in and clearing content and making a name for this guild. It's about the members. All right, well, that is a great answer, sir. And let me just say that, you know, it, uh, there always has to be a captain at the helm. And I think without that, you know, a guild kind of goes in circles so the captain at the helm pointing the direction that he wants the guild to go and you are doing an excellent job here from what i've seen tonight and from what we've heard from the other members as well so with that folks we're going to come back and find out if we've missed anything during the interview and then give our final farewells to this wonderful guild the dysfunctional veterans guild here on scenario circle so we'll be right back with that Alrighty, folks, and we are back. And so, Disco, uh, have we missed anything during the interview that you would like to add? For the most part, everything's covered. Anybody watching this, you, you did miss quite a bit behind the scenes. We are a rowdy bunch. We are a motley crew, but we're a family. We look out for each other. We take care of each other as much as you can possibly within a game we do consider each other friends a lot of us don't get out much this is our circle of friends this is our social community not just as part of this guild but as part of the server as a whole Scenarian Circle and Sisters of Loon is as I said earlier it is an incredible enigma amongst the Warcraft universe nowhere else have I ever found a community like this one even if DV doesn't sound exactly like your cup of tea, give the server a try. Make a tune over here. Come hang out. It's an incredible place to be. Right now, the guild is looking for more. We're trying to get word out to all veterans who play games who may be interested in playing to come and join us. Even if they don't want to transfer off their home server, just to make an alt to have that social connection. The more that we bring in, the more of a family we have. We're looking for raiders. Those who may want to start a raid group or have a raid group, but don't necessarily want to deal with the administrative headache of running an entire guild themselves. Our officers and raid leaders work autonomously. They're responsible for their groups. 
They can organize them however they see fit. They're in charge of the personnel rosters for their groups. I'm not. I'm simply here to oversee and handle any, any of the tedious pain in the butt stuff that may come about. Anybody who wants to raid, we do that. If you want a PvP, we do that. If you want to, if you're curious about roleplay, never done it before, we do that as well. Across the board, we try and make a place for everyone, no matter what their interests, no matter what they want to do in game. We try and accommodate as best we can anyone, particularly U.S. veterans, who want to be a part of our group. All right, well, I couldn't say it any better myself, sir. That's right, folks. If you have a tune, either on Scenarian Circle or are looking to make one here, uh, and you don't have a home yet, come check these guys out. They have a place for everybody and for all interests. So come and check them out. And they are a fun, fun guild. So with that, we'll be right back with our final goodbyes to the Dysfunctional Veterans Guild here on Scenarian Circle. We'll be right back with that. Alrighty folks, and we are back, and it has been a lot of fun here tonight. And so let me thank each and every one of you folks for allowing Turwinkle to pester you with all his questions. It has, again, been a wonderful night learning all about the Dysfunctional Veterans Guild here on Scenarian Circle. Thank you so much, sir. What the... All the fish. Oh! Ah! Get it! Ah! Ah! ah. Ow! Uh, uh, oh no! Uh, no! No! Not the fish! <laughs> not the fish! Alrighty, folks, we made it safe and sound back to Light Hope's Chapel, and boy, Turwinkle, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Indubitably. All right. Well, let's give the dysfunctional Veterans Guild a wonderful thank you, sir, for taking the time to talk with us this evening. Thank you. You bet. And so, folks, if you like this episode, click that like button. If you would like to comment on this episode or on any of our previous episodes, please do so below. Let us know what you liked and what you didn't. And finally, if you would like to subscribe, well, we would love to have you. So hit that subscription button today. All righty, Turwinkle. Well, excellent job today, sir. And Turwinkle, we will see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, Turwinkle. Bye-bye.